Welcome CSC 200. I want to very quickly go over copying and pasting your console output to a text file. I just want to show you once again that when I go into Python Anywhere as an instructor, I could go down here and I could see everybody in the list and I could typically get into your accounts. Now if I go to, to RM Homer right now, I can go into his, I can see his consoles, I could see his files, I could see his databases, I could see everything. I could go down here and I could see an open console. He was supposed to have an open console, but now when I go here, there, it's, it looks like it reset. Lately, I've been going in here and things have been closing, so I just want to want to point something out. I'll just hit back here, and I'll go into one that I can see. If I go into, here's another student here, I'll go into this one because I know I can see this console. If I go into their president's console, I'll see all the work that they did. And that's typically what, what I do, and I even put a little message down here. But what I'm recommending to do now because some of these have been closing out and then all your work is gone. Now, that doesn't mean necessarily that, you know, obviously everything you did is gone because if you have a working code file, I could just go into your files and into your databases and I could look at your working code and I could see that you did all of your queries correctly and I could see how you did all of your queries. And again, you should make a new working code for each exercise. So if you did one for presidents, do one for presidents, foreign key, etc. Now, one thing I recommend and I'll go back into this console, that when you're, when you're done to copy this. Now, I, I did this as a recommendation at first, but I'd say definitely do this now because you could lose everything and it, it's better off just having all your output done because it's, then it's harder to go through it. So selecting all and copying can sometimes be an issue. So what you can do is if you just go up here and like highlight the first line or whatever's there, and then you scroll all the way down to the bottom, wherever that is, and then if you shift click at the bottom, it will highlight all of your code and then you can control C or command C, whatever you're working on, and then you could copy it. And you could copy it to different places. I could go back here, and then remember, always open this in a new tab. I'm gonna click on here and go to Files, and do Control click or right click, and say Open a New Tab. And I'm doing in this file here. And then if you go in your databases, and you just wanna call this whatever it is, I'll just call this EX, EX3 console, and I'm just gonna put sample. It's not a real one here, but I'm just going to put it in. I'll put .txt, make sure it's a text file, and I'll just hit new file. And then I could paste it here, and there's the same thing. So you can save it in here too. And, and this is going to be safe in here. The only thing that's not safe is just leaving the console open, where initially I could get in there and there wasn't a problem, but lately they've been closing up. So if you save this, then I could always go and see your console. I know it's more work doing this, you know, going into your files and doing that, but at least at least it's saved and I can get to it. You don't have to upload it. If you have your, your text in here for your EX3 console, for your foreign keys, whatever it is, I'll give you more instructions on doing that, but that way I could go in and see that. So it's kind of safe in here. And if I, if for whatever reason I go to your console, like I go, oh, I'm gonna check out, I'm gonna check out this console. And I go to the console and I'm like, oh, there's nothing here. Then, then there's a problem. But if you already did all the work and you copied it and you put it in your text file. So, so again, you, you can do that. You could put it in your files there and it's gonna be safe in there. There's, there's no problem with the files. When I, when I go in here, I'm always going to be able to go into your databases folder and see your files. Here's your text file. I could go back. I could see your SQL file, your working code file, just as long as you name those things appropriately for each exercise. And we're not going to do this all semester. Remember, this was just kind of online in the beginning, getting used to creating databases and writing queries. But we're going to be switching to GORM at some point, and that will share things a little bit differently. For your working code, write your queries here. That way you can copy your queries and paste them into the console when you're working. And then if there's ever a problem, you have them here. You have all your queries saved. This is really your work. You're just, if anything happened, you're just losing your output. You're going over here, you know, and if you go somewhere else, if I just look at, you know, if I go to RM Homa here and I look at his and I go, wait a minute, where's your output? You could say, oh, I have it saved in the text file. So to review, the best way to save your console output is going to be to save it to a text file and just keep it in your Python Anywhere files. We'll also do that with SQL files and your queries, but I'll go over that a little bit later. So just wanted to go over that now just so you don't lose anything that you've worked on.